Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. So today I want to discuss about compliance policy. So in my previous video, I discussed about generally about the overview and what is compliance policy. But right now I want to create a compliance policy and show you how to create a compliance policy and how do we assign this policy to a specific group. So to create a compliance policy, we can actually do that do that from our endpoint manager admin center, that is, which is Intune, but right now it's no more called Intune. So if you go to your portal.azure.com and you try to search for Intune, let me just show you that. If I go to my, if I go to portal, portal.azure.com and I try to search for Intune, here you can see we have the Intune and Intune for Education. So let me just go to Intune. So you can see that our new home is the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So right now it's no more called like before, which is called Intune. So you will need to go to the new Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, which is going to take you to this page. So to create a compliance policy, what we need to do is you need to go to Devices. And in Devices, you see we have the overview um, by platform. We have enrolled devices and we also have policies. So here we have the compliance policies and the conditional assets. So let's try to create a compliance policy. So click on compliance policies. Here in compliance policy, but well, mind you, if you want to know all about policy, I just I did a video before now on what the compliance and conditional access policies are. So to create a policy, so if I go to compliance policies here, we see say compliance policy settings. We say by default, mark devices with no compliance policy assigned as compliance. So with dev all devices with no compliance policy assigned as compliance. So I can actually, by default, I can make that not compliant to make sure that only devices I can, I will have to filter on devices which are compliant. So I'm going to create, just click save. So right now it says mark devices with no compliance policy as not compliant. So what I would need to do is I will need to create a different group or a security group and make sure that I create an exemption for devices. So right now what we need to do is go to policies and here you can see I don't have any compliance policy right now. So let me try to create one policy. So this policy, I'm going to select the platform in which I want to create this policy. So I want this policy to be to, to applied. So we have the Android, iOS, Mac OS, and we have the Windows. So I'm going to select Windows 10 and later and click Create. So here we're going to give this policy um, a name. So I'm just going to give this, uh, let me just give this secured devices. And the platform for which this policy will be applied will be for Windows 10 and later. And we'll click Next. So you can see we have the different options. So what I want to do for this policy is, one, I want to actually make sure that the device will require BitLocker for it to be marked as compliant. And two, the firewall should be enabled. And three, the device should have antivirus on that device for that device to be marked as compliant. If these three options are not met, then that device will be marked as not compliant so what we need to do first so let me just show you the different options we have for the compliance policy we have the device health so when i go to device health we can see we says windows health attestation service evaluation rules the device will require the bit locker to be enabled on the device we say yes it needs to be required and also for the others required code integrity we don't need that let's go to device properties here you can actually configure what your minimum os version should be or the maximum and for the mobile devices you can as well configure what the minimum and the maximum fashion should be so let me go to um, configuration manager compliance here we can say required device compliance from configuration manager so if you are using sscm you can as well if you want that device to also be compliance from configuration manager you can click require and here if i go to view system security we can say that, okay, um, require a password to unlock mobile device if this policy is being applied to mobile devices. We can say, um, when I click this, then I have the option to actually configure how, um, is it going to be a simple password or what kind of password, the password type, the minimum password length. But for right now, I'm not going to configure that. So for the encryption, we're going to actually make sure that the device have a firewall 
on it and also for the antivirus it says um, required any antivirus solution register with windows security centered to be on monitoring so i'm going to say require and also we're going to say for the windows for the defender but i'm not going to configure anything right now on this and also we have one last option which is the microsoft defender for endpoint require the device to be at to be at or under the max on machine risk score so not configured you can decide to configure this for clear low medium or high but i'm not going to configure that right now so i've configured three options one is that it requires a bit locker two it has to be firewall there has to be firewall enabled on our device and three the device ha i am will need to be configured with an antivirus software so let's click next so here we says we have two options we can actually skip this if you want we can click next you can see that we can skip it so it's not that you have to configure it but we have to specify the sequence of action on, on non-compliant device so if i click here we say we can send an email to the end user or we can retire the, the non-compliant device after let's say 10 days so what is, what is going to happen is after like 10 days or 15 days if the device is not compliant the device will be retired or we can decide to send the user an email but you need to create a template here which are not selected for this to be um, configured um, configured you can see please select a template but right now <coughs> sorry the template is not um, created i've not created any template so i'm just going to say retire that, that compliance device if it is not enabled let me just put like um 15 days so we're going to just put 15 days and then i'm going to say next so here we says um, include groups so right now when you create a compliance policy well let me just try to create the policy without assigning it to a group and you can see all this the summary of what you've done so just click create and the policy is being created and you can see that this um this is the policy we just created so if i go down here we have the basic information the compliance settings we can as well edit all these all these options so but what i want to do is here we can see the scope tag and also the assignment so the assignment you can see we have two options we have the include group and also have the exclude group so if i click the edit the assignment and here we can say okay include groups we can also exclude users or exclude a specific group from this uh, policy so i want to you can say this should be um, applied to all users or to a specific group so i'm going to so it is actually better to apply the policies to specific group and not to all users but if you think that policy is is meant for everyone you can decide it to um, apply that policy to every user but i actually prefer to actually I prefer to actually manage and um, use compliance policy for a specific group and not for every user. So here I have some groups I've already created in my Office 365, or you, you can do that as, as well from Azure Active Directory. So if I go to my Office 365, here you can see we have the active groups. And uh, let me just do refresh. And here we have a group I've created, which is a security group. It's called Secure Devices. And in this group right now, I don't have any device in it. You see, members is empty. So what we can do is, uh, let me just go back to my M configuration, my endpoint manager. And here we can decide to say, okay, let me just include this group to it. Select and review. Here we say Secure Devices and Save. So right now we have only secure device, but we can decide to say we want to actually exclude a device, uh, exclude a group from this policy. I can say, please um, uh, just exclude um, the sales from this policy or ex exclude the MFA users from this policy. But right now I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I just know that you have the option to exclude users from this policy. So I'm just going to cancel that and click um, view and save and click save and there you go you can see that our policy have been created so let me go back to devices when I go back to compliance policy so you can see right now we have just one policy we've created so we can as well decide to delete this policy if we wish or we can decide to just create a new policy and also before I end this video I'm going to show you some other for example here we have the notification 
we can decide to create or edit a notification message or template we can decide to create says um, create a notification message like when i try to create a message which i want to send to the user or i want to send an email to the user so you need to create a template for that here but i'm not going to do that right now and also we also have the retired non-compliant devices will be listed here and i also have locations right now i have not created any location you can actually create a location which you can use for your conditional access if you want to configure conditional access you can use, use that location you can use the location as well but i'm not going to do that for now and here we have the compliance policy policy settings we say mark device with no compliance policy assigned as not compliant which means that every single device which does not have um, a compliance policy will be marked as um, non-compliance so which means a device need to have a policy in this environment to be compliance thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson i hope this video is of a great help to you and please don't forget to watch the next video which is going to be about conditional access so i'm going to discuss about conditional access how you can configure conditional access what is the meaning of conditional access what can you actually do what is the, the difference between compliance policy and conditional access thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe once more and give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video thank you very much and see you next time bye